All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Chain. So, Bitcoin L2s will be the topic of this video. We got so many different Bitcoin L2s already out and currently in development. So many different Bitcoin L2s. And when I say this, though, this includes anything that, you know, kind of resides on Bitcoin L1. You know, kind of like op net and then um, even like tap protocol. It's not technically an L2, but just for the sake of this, you know, I'm not going to say Bitcoin L2s and L1 solutions like just to make it easy. But again, some of these are not L2s, but for the general thesis for the video, I will be calling all of these L2s. But right now, Bitcoin L2s, basically scaling solutions for Bitcoin are starting to get to a level of having way too many in my opinion you know but on the other side of it you know there is a ton of development still going on in the bitcoin DeFi ecosystem so much happening guys so i'm just going to go over a bunch of different protocols you know just to get this stuff on your radar you know because i feel like i've been out of the loop a little bit with bitcoin DeFi lately outside of um you know certain runes and a couple other things but just want to cover some stuff because the main topic that I want to bring up though is obviously a bunch of projects, but the fragmentation across the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem and personally why I see that as not the best thing going forward in the short term. As of right now, you know, my bag is something right here. We got fragmentation. You know, you can just look at Ethereum, right? You know, over the last couple of years, Ethereum has had how many different layer twos just, you know, come out left and right, you know, doing all these different things to incentivize people, you know, locking their ETH on their platforms until whatever, an airdrop or a certain date, some shit, right? So many different ETH L2s. And where are most of them now? Absolutely nowhere to be found. At least, you know, I look at it from an investment standpoint. All of them are down. Um, you know, again, they're still building, you know, some great stuff for Ethereum, for scaling. You know, they all, I feel like most of them, if not all of them, are doing the same thing, but a little bit differently. Um, and that's kind of what's happening right now on Bitcoin and with Bitcoin Layer 2 scaling solutions. So let's just jump into it because we got a lot of EVM side chains and rollups, which what that means is, you know, a Bitcoin layer two solution. They're taking, you know, Ethereum based, you know, let's say tools slash infrastructure, and they're using it to assist with scaling Bitcoin. You know, we got Stacks, which has been around for a while. Very prominent project, still leading the way, in my opinion, for anything and everything. Bitcoin L2 evm related you know i guess we got other narratives here bit vm and shout out to nine bit fund um you know i kind of just found this scrolling through twitter today but as far as many of the bitcoin l2s you know again many of them are using the infrastructure from other projects right now and we do have some like i was saying not all the l2s i'm talking about are only using other blockchain infrastructure some of them are built natively on bitcoin i'll get into a couple that are actually like built on l1s so they're not considered l2s but again let me just get into this because we got merlin you know merlin chain is a very big project right has not been performing you know over the last few months at all we got um like i said stacks was another major evm sidechain basically um, and I guess we got Botanics Labs, <clears throat> which is, again, another promising EVM sidechain, as said by 9-Bit here. You know, these are pretty interesting. I've never looked into Botanics. It just kind of came on my radar again. I just want to show you guys a bunch of these, you know, because I think a lot of these, one, they're not launched yet, but at some point they will be, you know, whether they launch their own literal you know they're gonna launch their own L2s you know but it's, I'm curious to see what you know which ones or which L2s are going to be getting the most attention going forward 
because it's kind of like again when you look back to ETH and all their different L2s it's super spread thin with liquidity as far as there's you know 20 30 different L2s right all claiming to do something different um, but that's where I think the major problem is right because at least this cycle so far that I've seen there has not really been a clear winner as far as a layer two you know like in the last cycle we had polygon was one of the most major L layer twos for ETH that really started running right but I think we're gonna have that at some point with at least one maybe a couple of the most successful future protocols here being built on Bitcoin you know so again we have Merlin stacks and botanics here for some ETH EVM um, layer twos you know let me pull that up Merlin chain so we got tap protocol which is on native Bitcoin we got two mate potentially three <clears throat> excuse me so fractal Bitcoin is another one I'll pull up uh, tap in a second fractal I don't know if this is a layer one or two so I personally am not uh, dove too heavy into fractal <clears throat> Um, you know, we, we have seen a lot of people talking about fractal Bitcoin as well. So the Bitcoin scaling solution that uses Bitcoin core itself to recursively scale unlimited layers on Bitcoin. <clears throat> so fractal itself, I know is coming up, you know, shout out to Francis. He has been covering this, you know, a lot. I know for a fact, um, but again, I'm actually curious to see how this does when it launches. You know, one of the main reasons why I have not been focusing heavily, one is because market conditions are really bad still. Obviously, the, for five months, everything's been trending sideways slash, you know, down only, right? But two, when, when we've seen a lot of these newer Bitcoin infrastructures launch, um, and I think, you know, Runes is a prime example. I, I don't think any of these are actually going to you know have these insane runs that anyone thinks you know right from launch you know we have runes right runes have been out for a while you know they've been integrated into a lot of platforms you know a lot of people actually hold them you know many are burned on them including myself on some right but it's like i think going forward because we have so many and all of them are going to be launching at different times it's you know it's hard to just be bullish on one you know at a time because I feel like it's just gonna be especially a lot of people in the Bitcoin DeFi eco it's like you're kind of looking at you know BRC 20s was hype oh then runes were hype oh and then fractals hype oh then opnet then tap and then you know I feel like because they're all launching at different times you know it's gonna attract attention at different times for all of these you know I think it's very questionable going forward you know to be jumping into a lot of these projects because I just look again for example you know it was different with BRC 20s because when they kind of were created they were like the first implementation of anything like this right and when they launched you know they were launched literally in silence no one even knew about it for at least like a you know few weeks month two months after it was out is when you know some of the general public that was not really into the Bitcoin eco discovered it Thus, that's why it had its initial hype when it launched about a few months later, died out. And then when this bull run really kicked off in, you know, September, October, November, that's when BRCs just really mooned, right? But as of right now, Runes is setting up to do something very similar. They launched, you know, when they launched for a week, yeah, they went up a little bit, came all the way down, absolutely flatlined right now. But because it's the most new and, you know, mainly the most new protocol on Bitcoin out currently, you know, I think if Bitcoin does in the short term, you know, go into 65, 70, 75, make new highs, go into 80K, 85, I think runes are going to absolutely rip. <clears throat> but if we have another protocol launch and come out, let's say in the next few weeks, right? You know, I think when it launches, definitely going, to, it's not going to do too much once it launches nothing not even in bitcoin DeFi. nothing when it launches is going to go up forever 99 percent of the time things only move up because it's hype at the moment once the hype dies out after a few days a week 
two weeks, it will end up going down and trend sideways. Everything and anything does that, you know. But the thing is, we got runes out. And if we get fractal out, if we get another one out, my question would be, you know, how are people going to be, you know, hyped to then continue to jump into runes when you got fractal out? And even though fractal is brand new, you know, and then when fractal is old, AKA a month old, two, two months old, and then we got another one, you know, it's super hype, incentivizes more users to jump on their platform, right? So everyone's getting rewards and stuff for being on the new platform, you know, for me going forward personally it's you know it's hard to be bullish when there's so many protocols all f you know trying to launch at some point fairly soon but my counter argument to myself though you know is you can't just hate the fact that there is so much innovation on bitcoin right like i'm literally a permable for anything and everything bitcoin DeFi related so the building itself absolutely continue to do it for anyone watching like if you guys are building something like absolutely go for it but from an investment standpoint i'm personally just finding it hard you know to be consistently bullish when i just feel like right now a lot of these newer protocols are just the new shiny object right like i just claimed you know once a new one launches it'll get a hype and attention probably fade out for a little bit but i think it's going to be a matter of whichever Bitcoin layer two, whichever native L1 Bitcoin meta protocol is the most recent that's released by the time Bitcoin breaks into new highs. I think whatever protocol that is, that is going to be the one that actually runs hardest. You know, and that again, let's say if two weeks from now, Bitcoin's at 90K, right? Again, I'm not claiming that it's actually going to do that, but for an example, and none of these are actually released yet. I think runes are going to be the coins that run super hard because they are the most recent. You know, most people are already familiar with them, but that's kind of my thesis going forward for a lot of the Bitcoin DeFi eco. But again, at the same time, I think a lot will run no matter what. Once Bitcoin is at 90K, 80K, you know, 85, 90, whatever, you know, I think anything and everything is going to run, right? Especially, you know, fairly strong communities and fairly strong projects. You know, at the same point, it doesn't really matter if it's runes, BRC20s, this and that. You know, if they're still building and really building good products, I think they will get attention again, even if they're, you know, an older meta protocol. But that's just some of my thoughts going forward, you know, just looking at a bunch of these. And let me cover the rest because... I tend to get sidetracked very often with my thoughts here. So, <laughs> Fractal was, um, this one, like I said, I, I will want, I will be making a deep dive into these very soon, getting this info out to all of you guys. But again, I have not done my research on Fractal. Opnet is another one that I am personally very bullish on. Bitcoin layer one smart contract meta protocol for DeFi tokens, NFTs, DAOs, and more. This one seems really cool. They just dropped their um, light paper website. And again, I'm not going to cover it here today. We'll be covering this stuff going more in depth, you know, very, very soon. Because again, like I said, even though there's certain aspects of why, you know, I'm bullish or bearish going forward. I still love to see this development on the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem. You know, anything that really just pushes the narrative or pushes the envelope even more forward with the space, right? That's, that is what I love to see. You know, even though also I've been in memes, been on Solana for a while, you know, continuously just focusing on memes. Like I said, I'm still always just checking this stuff out. And I love to see new innovation um but yeah going forward like i said i'm personally going to be cautious with you know a lot of different things in this ecosystem uh but again that doesn't mean i'm not gonna you know show everyone different projects and stuff that i'm interested in or bullish on you know i just think it's going to be a matter of again when bitcoin is really starting to run and really mooning whichever project is out that is the most recent that has the most attention and hype at that current moment 
is going to be the one that has the most insane gains. You know, I'm telling you, it's not even going to be a matter of if the project is good or not, or I'm sorry, if the meta protocol is, you know, insanely good or innovative. I think it's literally going to be whichever one is out or the most recent launched when Bitcoin is absolutely flying again. That is the one that will run very hard. You know, I, I just I, I think that's just the way crypto is, you know, it's all betting on the hype and speculation at the current moment when Bitcoin is moving up, you know, and if some of these aren't launched by the time Bitcoin's breaking into new highs, heavy in price discovery, you know, dropping some three to five percent candles on the daily for a while, you know, just getting really euphoric, right? Um, I think by the time we're, you know, really moving and then chopping sideways a little bit at the top, um, I think that short time frame is going to be key for any of these protocols to be focusing on their launch or to, you know, have already launched, you know, have their project launch, have that initial hype die out, continue to build, and then have, you know, basically the rest of Bitcoin DeFi, you know, users and people that are, you know, up to date, know and understand the value of those coins that are out, <clears throat> you know, having it be the most recently launched one, and I think it will get attention. And I know some of you listening, it might not make much sense, but again, I'm personally looking at this from an investment standpoint, but again, innovation speaks for itself in the space, right? A lot of different things happening and changing. You know, we got BitOS here too, it's very cool. Bitcoin Layer 2. Um, what, what was the... Uh, this one, I think they had... What did they implement? ZK proofs or something? in Into their... Something like that. Like I said, I, I gotta do a lot more research, but... I will be making in-depth videos on this stuff you know this is this video is mainly just my thoughts thesis going forward you know like i said the, the innovations here are just nuts there's just so many different protocols you know and this is just like you know basic layer ones or twos whatever you want to call them on bitcoin you know this doesn't account for any gaming projects DeFi, you know anything like that there's still some that i want to cover as well uh, so super interesting stuff, but the last thing I want to talk about though is going to be the interoperability between different meta protocols slash L2s. In a case like this, that to me is going to be the most bullish thing for a project to be focusing on going forward. And what I mean by that is if you have BitLayer, let's say you got BitLayer Labs, you know, BitOS, you got Tab Protocol. Like, let's say, for example, just on Bitcoin L1, you got OpNet, right? Tab Protocol, you got BRC20s, ARC20s, Stamps, Runes. What if there was a project that implemented all of those, um, you know, Bitcoin meta protocols? It had tokens and projects on BRC20s, you know, had Runes had all of those implemented in some sort of way, shape, or form, that to me is what will be, you know, the gold mine. I, I think it's super important for projects to focus on the interoperability. You know, I look at like literal ghosty cash and even moto swap, things that are going to be doing, you know, integrating different layer ones, different layer twos in the Bitcoin eco is going to be key. Another one too is liquidium which liquidium I want to talk about as well. I'm not in this video. In another video, I'm going to drop separately, but liquidium I'm personally very, very bullish on. <clears throat> but I would like to see them do one or two things, you know, mainly I think if they can just continue when new protocols get released, integrating a lot of those for their lending and stuff like that, right? I think st shit like that, the interoperability between Bitcoin layer twos or Bitcoin meta protocols is going to be 
the absolute gold mine for projects going forward. You know, that is still why I love, like I said, Ghosty and Moto Swap. You know, I just look at Ghosty, you know, you can literally swap BRC20s for rune tokens, you know, rune tokens for ETH coins, right? Like, you can do all of that. You can swap multiple meta protocols like that on their literal platform. You know, there's not many projects that can do things like that. You know, so that's something I'm heavily paying attention to is the interoperability between all of these layer ones and layer twos. So, again, I'll keep you guys up to date over, you know, the span of time. Once a lot of these other protocols are launched, different projects on there. You know, there are some rune projects, too, that I personally like continue to be bullish on. But like I said, very interesting times right here with uh, Bitcoin meta protocols and layer twos. So outside of that, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just throw my thoughts out because again, I have not covered this ecosystem in a while, but again, I'm still very bullish on it. Nothing's changed for me except the fact, again, the fragmentation across 20 different meta protocols and layer twos, that to me is going to be a potential issue. So Outside of that, keep building, keep innovating. Now, I'm here for it. But I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.